Super Scott, Pregnant Tracy, Steve. So what I want us to do right now is yes and innovation, the word innovation. I think it was a really good way to start off the class. I feel like now I feel very open with everyone and I feel like we can really work together well. You know, we all kind of walked in and we were kind of quiet, kind of doing that, we're all nice, but at the same time, don't talk to me. And now I feel like we're all, we've all laughed and we've all kind of melded together a little bit. And just being able to connect and being able to kind of have the same synergy and, and experience that throughout the room. I, I think as we were exercising more and more, we were just building up from each other. So it was pretty fun. To really kind of break it all down in an hour and, you know, loosen up a lot, I think, you know, that hour was so important for the rest of the class so we don't kind of start to formulate and try to look at each other and, you know, I mean, it just happens. So that hour kind of lets, you know, let's break down all the walls that quickly so that when we do the, the group work, you know, we already have a good feeling for each other and, you know, how we'll work and interact together. Three, two, one. Artist. Artist. Oh! What was really fun about it was the whole idea of the play and working one-on-one -on -one with people as well as working as a team and how that whole collaboration makes something even better. It's just amazing just to work with everybody. Blank! Okay, what do you have? Plain. Plain and black. Black. Black and plain. Now, this is a plain... Um, when Christine was talking about the voices that she hears in her head, whether or not any of us will admit that we have it, it's that bad self-talk that you have where you oh my gosh, I shouldn't have said that, it looks so dumb, or you feel like an idiot. And when she said that, I instantly kind of felt comfortable because I was like, this is a free zone that where nothing we say or do is dumb or stupid, and it makes you feel more comfortable. I have been trained to think a certain way, and walking in here, and the first thing we're doing is improv completely broke down everything that I have been trained to learn. And it's actually kind of building me back up to learn a different way of thinking. So I think that that's definitely important for innovation. So I think that the exercises today definitely helped me a little bit um, be more at ease with the concept of having to present in front of everybody after literally just meeting them. Whoever wins out of three is the winner, all right? And then when you're done, just kind of hands down and face me. <laughs> Steve was talking about that somebody was coming in that was doing improv. I'm like, oh, great, we're going to get to watch somebody do improv with somebody <laughs> else. Like, not realizing until she got here that I was going to have to get up and do something. And then I'm like, can I just stay in my chair? And I feel like I'm usually a pretty outgoing person for whatever reason public speaking doesn't bother me because um, I have a background in education but to get up and do the play and be creative and innovative it definitely took me out of my comfort zone and was not something I was looking forward to but I think it you know over that hour the way the different um, exercises that we did it really helped you you know break out piece by piece and everybody was kind of out of their comfort zone so at least I thought so um, so I felt like you know you're you're in good company and it it allowed us all to kind of step out and uh, Christine did a great job at making you feel comfortable and you know the clapping and whatever you say is the right thing to say and um, I just think it was a great exercise to yeah really set up the rest of the class and be able to interact and be open with each other. I started going into businesses and using this work for communication, listening, team building skills and it's super fun. So you don't know each other now but after this you're going to you're going to be like brothers and sisters. You're not the only one that's going to get applause today okay. Get, you're going to get a lot.